Morning Chess Players. In this edition of Chesscom Daily Chess Championship, I managed to win all the games in the round 2. This, of course, guaranteed me the first place and promotion to the next round. As usual, during daily games, many interesting combinations were created and I have collected them in this video. But contrary to the previous videos, here all tasks are rather difficult. Please also remember that each exercise will be presented in the way that will allow you to solve it by yourself. So, after a short introduction to the puzzle, there will be some seconds break. Then you can pause the video for a while just to calculate the different lines and find the best move. After that, resume again this video to check if your solution is correct. So, let's focus on the chessboard. Why to move? How to win? The first move of this puzzle is really difficult. Of course, it was possible to escape bishop on e2 or on h3 because this bishop is under attack. But knight f3 is an answer, and as you can see now, all white pieces are active and they put pressure on poorly coordinated black pieces. So, what is the options for black? Knight g4, the first choice, but after that, bishop takes. Bishop on d6, bishop e3, so we are capturing queen, black is doing the same, bishop takes rook on f8, bishop e2, and after rook e1, rook takes f8, Rook takes e2. White uh, will have no problems with realizing uh, the material advantage and it's easy to win. Okay, let's go back. So, another choice is Knight takes f3. The only move is bishop f3. Bishop takes f3, so queen is under attack. And the best option for such a move is queen f3. Bishop takes on g3, queen g3. And we have an end game with one pawn more. But it was also another interesting line. White can capture bishop on d6, and now rook g8. In the beginning, it looks like white is winning after bishop e7, but it's a real blunder because after queen g2, check king h1. Such move like rook g3 is losing. There is no checkmate due to queen takes f3, rook f3. But black has another great move rook g1, king g1, rook g8, check, and checkmate. So let's go back to the game. So, after knight f3, my opponent played rook g8. And I have to admit that during the game, I, I was waiting for this move because my answer was queen 
d6 and here my opponent resign due to some such line after there is a queen d6 and after h5 bishop f3 we are winning so instead of queen d6 another line is knight takes a free bishop free queen d6 bishop d6 bishop f3 and this bishop cannot be captured and it looks that uh, this position is nearly equal but there is final bishop a5 if check and after rook g7 bishop g7 king g7 we are taking this bishop and uh, white has a uh, rook more with simple win black to move how to win okay look at the white queen it's almost caught, but uh, as you can see, rook a8 is unprotected. So king d7 is an answer because you can coordinate these rooks. And moreover, rook b8 is a real treat. So white should answer b3. Let's check, let's check another moves. Knight f4, f4 is interesting answer. After bishop take f4, bishop f4. We cannot play rook b8 because queen c7. But we can cross this diagonal, a5. And after e5, d takes e5. Now we can play rook b8. Of course, the beginning you can see think that uh, e6 is uh, enough for white, but you can take this pawn with check. And there is no queen c7. And in the next move, we are capturing this queen. So instead of rook b8, instead of e6, white can play rook d1. And now the best move for black is to take this queen, rook d5, bishop d5, and uh, black is with rook more. And all the time you have uh, to be careful because after bishop d3, it's a big mistake because there is rook takes d3, queen d3, and now e6. After f takes e6, there is queen c7, and uh, white is still in the game. But after king e6, there is queen c6 check, g4, another check, and after king takes f4, it's interesting line, queen f6, king e3, queen h6, another check, and now rook f1, of course after king g4 there is checkmate, white have to go with king to g2, another check, king h3, of course now we can repeat if you want 
but also white can give check think h think the queen takes a free and it should be win for white so of course it was mistake but let's go back to the main line after b3 bishop capture knight on e2 king e2 and now black cannot play rook d8 because please note that we do not have this bishop and f6 is not protected and not attacked and uh, white can escape to the a6 but there is a5 and now this queen is captured after c4 queen f5 even c5 rook b8 and black is winning white queen after the opening, the black pieces don't have too much space. If white does not take advantage of this in the next few moves, it will be too late to extend the current advantage. So, white to move, how to win? Okay, bishop c7 is the answer, attacking black queen. So, queen c8 is the only move, and now bishop a6. Of course, I know it looks a bit strange, but now this rook on e8, a8 is nearly captured. So, black can play e5. Of course, after takes b7 bishop b7 you can now see how strong is the pair of bishops are all squares on the last rank are under attack and this rook is lost so during the game my opponent play knight b8 I capture the queen and then after knight c8 bishop b7 winning rook oh my opponent take this queen with the rook knight c8 and rook b1 and i wanna win after some moves and of course if we go back after line e5, there is also the same queen c8, knight c8, bishop b7, winning rook, and the game. White had no time to castle. However, the main problem is not the weak position of the king, but the lack of white squared bishop. So. Black to move, how to win? Okay. Black bishop on d3 seem to control half of the board, but the answer is knight b3 attacking this rook on e1. The only move is rook a2, and now bishop b1 is winning. During the game, my opponent played king f2, take, take, rook c, c2, and i won after some moves. But Instead of King two, if uh, White captured this, 
this shop is rook c1, rook f2, rook h1, winning rook on h1, and game. Black to move, how to win? Queen exchange, so queen d6 is an answer. I have to admit that the whole day game uh, was uh, full of tactics and several times both me and my opponent had the opportunity to sacrifice uh, pieces for an attack. And it was even more difficult to me to find uh, a simple winning move as queen d6. So my opponent, of course, answered with bishop d6. And now another, I can say, spectacular move. Bishop c3 was going on. We are exchanging bishop for knight and move to the end gate with uh, oppositional square bishop. But after b takes c3, we have bishop for attacking on, on g2. And if g3, e2, and the, this pawn will be promoted. After g4, there is bishop f3. And now, after that, we are capturing both pawns. During the game, my opponent answer with king b2, e2, bishop g3, takes the first pawn, and after king c2, bishop f3, and also pawn on h5 will be captured. We are free pawn more and winning. It's, it, it will be very easy to win this endgame. Black to move, checkmate in five moves. During the game, two moves before, I have I had found an interesting checkmate in six moves, but after the game it occurs that it was possible also to give checkmate in five. But rook g1 bishop g1, bishop sacrifice is an answer after king g1 okay we can also check rook g1 that is simple so we have checkmate in three so white have to capture this bishop with king and now another nice move Rook e1. And here it occurred that rook e2 is also possible, and here we can give checkmate in 5 because after bishop 5, king a8, queen e4, for example, rook f1. This is there is a checkmate. But personally, I prefer this rook one because there we force everything. So there is check after check. And after rook one. Okay, let's first check this line because it's quite funny. Here we can sacrifice rook once again. And interesting checkmate but if white captured this rook there is check on g8 so bishop is protecting king but now we can sacrifice another rook king queen g7 we promote queen, king, h2, 
and finally checkmate if to queen. Black to move, how to win? During this game, I was in serious trouble. In the end, I managed to make a short but interesting combination. So f3 is an answer. We, answer, we are sacrificed this queen. So my opponent replied with rook e2. Another line was queen e2, but it's simple, checkmate. And if white wants to protect this g2 by rook g1, there is check, rook f1, and checkmate. So let's go back to rook e2, pawn takes rook on e2, now rook f1 is a treat. So there are two possibilities. Let's start for h4. Here we can give check. Queen promotion. And black is winning. But if white decide to h3 instead of h4, black can play g3. So now h2 is attack by pawn. That's why white has to capture this pawn. But here we have check. Bishop g1. And now there is king under attack and queen under attack. We are queening, queening queen and the gay. And what else after f2 there is queen e1 but it's also simple rook f1 f takes with queen and checkmate that's all my puzzles from the second round i hope you managed to solve all of them it's me on the first place. Goodbye.